Hey guys, it's Poe back again with another video. Today is something completely different than what I normally do. Uh, there's really not anything noteworthy going on in the tech world right now other than products releasing that you can't buy and uh, cryptocurrency mining and scalpers making life rough for all of us. But at least it's first world problems. Things could always be worse. Instead of my usual tech-related subjects, today we're going to talk about one of my other passions, and that is rockets. Uh, I follow the entire crowd, uh, NASA, SpaceX, Boeing, uh, United Launch Alliance, and today we are going to talk about Rocket Lab. That is a company that Peter Beck started back in 2014, who primarily does uh, small sat launches and rideshare missions with their Electron rocket. So as I mentioned back in 2014, Peter Beck announced that he was starting Rocket Lab and they began building their now workhorse, the Electron rocket. And the Electron rocket has quite a few neat features. Um, it is a full carbon composite build. Uh, it uses 3D printed engines. They call them the Rutherford and that Rutherford engine also uses batteries to power its turbo pumps, which, as far as I'm aware, no one else is currently using, at least not in active launch vehicles. So an ongoing joke in the launch enthusiast community and something that inevitably always gets brought up uh, when somebody talks about Rocket Lab is whether or not Peter Beck is going to eat his hat. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but rewind a few years and Peter was asked whether or not he would pursue reusability. Um, you've got to consider the fact that SpaceX was beginning to do that and starting to be successful with that. Uh, Rocket Lab is always compared to SpaceX, whether that's good or bad. So inevitably the question did come up, were they going to try to make Electron reusable? And at the time Peter said, no way, absolutely not. It's unfortunately just not feasible. With Electron being such a small launch vehicle, uh, any weight that you add to it will substantially decrease the payload that they can get to orbit with that vehicle. So he said, no way, absolutely not. If we did, I would eat my hat. Well, in 2019, uh, Peter Beck actually announced that they would be pursuing reusability with Electron. Uh, he said they were going to attempt to catch their first stage rather than propulsively land like SpaceX does. Uh, it was going to come back down through the atmosphere and pop some parachutes uh, and hopefully do a soft splashdown in the ocean. So immediately everyone asked, when is Peter going to eat his hat? Then just last year on November 19th, uh, they had a mission going up called Return to Cinder, and it was aptly named because this was the mission where they were going to attempt to have that first stage come back down through the atmosphere, pop the parachute for a soft landing in the ocean, and it was successful. So again, everyone immediately asked, when is Peter going to eat his hat? And this is where the story starts to get fun. So on March 1st of this year, Rocket Lab released a video to their YouTube channel of the hat and eating of said hat. And I can't explain to you um, how odd it was to be excited to watch a video uh, with a very prominent businessman eating his hat, but the time had come. Uh, in the thumbnail, it had this neat little uh, food dish with the cover over the top, so you knew immediately when you saw the thumbnail that the hat was going to get eaten. Peter began by going over all their accomplishments and said, when Rocket Lab says they're going to do something, they do it. He repeated this again and again throughout the video. Then we got a close-up of him at a table with a covered food dish. It had to be the hat. Next, Peter grabs a blender from underneath the table. He cut up some pieces of the hat and blends that sucker up. Then he proceeded to grab some of the blended fabric out of a martini glass that he had poured it into and down the hatch it went. I literally laughed out loud at this point. Assuming this was the end, I almost stopped watching, but thankfully I didn't because I was oddly curious about what he would say about the taste of the hat. 
I left the video running on my phone while explaining to my wife that this very important man who runs a rocket company just ate his hat. Needless to say, she was confused, and as I was trying to explain it all, I was distracted from the video. Slowly, it started to pan out to a wider shot, and I immediately stopped dead in my tracks of explaining to my wife why Peter had eaten his hat. He had been sitting inside of a humongous fairing half during his dining session. What is this huge fairing for? It was certainly too big to be used on Electron. I rewound the video 20 seconds and watched him savoring the hat again, but this time with the volume louder. He said, There's some things we said we would never do, but we're going to build a big rocket. It's called Neutron. I lost it. Absolutely lost it. For those of you who are used to my normal content, unless you're also into rockets, you probably don't get it, but this is a big deal. Big rockets are big deals. New rockets are big deals. I love this stuff. Peter then continued by saying not only were they building a big rocket, but it would be reusable. Additionally, not only would it be a big reusable rocket, but it would be rated for human flight. Now who does that sound like? Yeah, SpaceX may have some competition in the near future. Now before I get taken out of context, let's talk about exactly what Peter meant when he said big rocket. Their current workhorse, the Electron, is a small rocket. It's a two, sometimes three stage rocket, depending on whether or not they've included their proprietary kick stage for a given mission. And it has primarily been used to launch small sats, including ride share missions like the one I mentioned before called Return to Sender. The Electron has a mass of 27,560 pounds and is 56 feet tall and almost four feet in diameter, compared to something like SpaceX's Falcon 9, which is almost 230 feet tall and 12 feet in diameter, the Electron is tiny. When Peter said they were going to build a big rocket, when compared to Electron, sure it's a big rocket, but when compared to the industry, it will be considered a medium rocket. The Neutron is capable of carrying 17,600 pounds to low Earth orbit. It will stand 131 feet tall and just under 15 feet in diameter. Not quite as tall as SpaceX's Falcon 9, but definitely a bit more girthy. And you know what they say about a rocket with more girth? It's wider. Rocket Lab is able to design and build the new rocket thanks to going public via a merger with Vector Acquisition Corporation and being valued at $4.1 million. After this deal closes, according to reporting by MarketWatch, this will give Rocket Lab a cash balance of $750 million. Not too bad if you're trying to build a brand new orbital class rocket from the ground up. Peter finished the video by stating that Neutron should be launching by 2024. Beyond this, the questions are limitless. Will the Neutron build on the lessons learned from Electron and use an all-carbon composite build? What engines will it use, and will they also be 3D printed like the Rutherford? What will the reusable capability be? Will it propulsively land? Your guess is as good as mine. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Neutron. Um, what engines do you think it's going to have? How's it going to be built? How's it going to land? Will it even be successful? I want to know what you guys think. Also. I want to know if watching Peter eat his hat was as satisfying for you as it was for me. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, it was neat to make a video on something other than tech. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I may start to do some more of these videos in the future since the uh, tech world is somewhat dried up at the moment, unfortunately. So, again, thanks for watching. Make sure to get subscribed if you hadn't already and hit that like button. And we will see you in the next one.